everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to integrate web sockets in your gado game engine with node.js backend now uh, i'll quickly uh, run my app so here i have my app and firstly uh, what happens is that as soon as i uh, run my app i have hard coded this uh, username as well as this room name uh, inside my gado game but you can have a separate screen separate screen where you ask the user about uh, the, his username or room name which he wants to enter and uh, so as soon as I, I am connected to websocket I am emitting a signal from a Gado app uh, to my server and then the server broadcasts that message to everyone so here you can see uh, whenever I get a message I am printing it to the console but again you can just show it on your screen just for simplicity sake I haven't added too much of code uh, so here you can see now what i'll do i also have a web project which is using react.js in case you are interested on how to integrate for web i already have a video on that as well so here uh, what i'm doing i'm entering some name suppose rahul and i'm entering the same uh, room for which uh, i'm using on the gado side so room name can be anything so i'll just enter t i'll submit and here you can see okay maybe something went wrong i'll just refresh this quickly okay i'll enter rohit okay t i'll click on submit and here you can see rohit join t also on the gado side i get a message that okay rohit join t now i will enter some message from my gado side so i'll just uh, say hi from gado and i'll quickly send the message and here you can see i get that message also the web app gets that message hi from gado now i'll send some message from my web hi from web i'll click on send i get the message on web i also get it on my gado side so again ignore this name null uh, i don't know why this is coming uh, even though i'm setting the, the name uh, this is some bug which i'm not able to figure it out on the back end side but anyways uh, here you can see i'm getting that particular message so let's see how to do that so first I will uh, show you the backend code uh, then I'll explain you the uh, GD script code so for backend I'm using node.js so you will need to have node.js installed on your system next you can just create a folder open your terminal CD to that folder and create this package.json file uh, you can create it manually if you don't want to create it manually just an npm init dash y and it will create a backend it will create a package.json file for you next you need to add two things you will have to add the start node index.js index.js is the starting point for our application that's why i'm referring index.js similarly for dev so you can start your server uh, by going again to the folder where your uh, project is located and just running npm run start or npm run dev but yeah do copy this but uh, first copy all this uh, code which i'm showing it to you next we require two dependencies one is express and second one is express dash ws so to install this you can just run npm install express and then npm install express dash ws once that is done go to index.js and here we are just requiring express then we are creating an app for it then we are requiring this chat user.js which i will show you in a bit then we are requiring express dash ws and passing the app which we have created then we are doing app.ws the url is slash chat and this colon room name is this room name can be anything it is dynamic okay so whatever room name you have entered uh, we will create a room for that so here inside chat user firstly i am sending this function so this is a function ws.send is a function and i am sending this to chat user i am also sending the room name and this method this thing is called whenever you send a message from your client to the backend so whenever i get a message i just call handle message and whenever uh, a client closes like uh, suppose i am on this web app right and if i completely close this web app if i go to my gd script uh, okay oh sorry i st stopped my uh, running app but uh, basically what happens is that whenever a client uh, disconnects from your web socket you the other connected clients for that particular room gets a message that okay so and so user has disconnected okay again uh, i'm not able to see the message because i have stopped running the app but you get the point so that's what is happening over here and we are running it on port 3001 uh, next going to chat user.js so here we are just requiring room.js we are creating a class 
and it takes the send function from ws as well as the room num room name and here i am calling the get method which is present inside room.js which i will show you in a bit then i have created another method called send it basically calls this dot send which inter which which is basically calling ws dot send right for sending any message from server to client whenever and whenever you send a message uh, from client to server this gets called handle message now i am sending some json data if you want you can sem send some string data as well i am basically stringifying the data before sending it to the server so i am uh, parsing that data and every data have a d type so i am just checking what type it is again you don't have to do this you can just send some normal string data as well so there are different types like case join then call this handle join case chat then handle chat i have not implemented this ignore this so if it is handle join that means the user has uh, connected to our web socket and as soon as i'm connected to web socket i'm sending a message from the client that so and so user has joined so and so room so that's what i'm doing i'm initializing this dot name uh then as uh, so okay and then i'm calling this join method which i will show you in a bit as well as broadcast like uh, again i will show you that as well uh, basically broadcasting it to all members connected in that room and now this handle chat now here there is one bug i don't know why this happens handle cho join gets called before handle chat right so this dot name should be should have been set but when i try to pin this dot name over here it comes as null so if you remember this here you can see it was null i don't know why uh, even though the name was set properly uh, also if you see uh, when i try to leave the particular room if you try to print it over here this dot name then it comes fine again it is not null at this point i don't know why this is happening so basically we are here what i am doing is that while leaving i am just getting the member by his name if that particular member is present then i am just calling leave method and passing that member and here we are just broadcasting that message to all the other clients who are connected to that room and don't forget this module dot export chat user then if you go to room dot js here we are creating a map for storing all the rooms now this is not uh, this you should not do this for production like you should have a real database uh, but for simplicity i have just created a map then i have created this classroom then i have created this get method which we we were calling inside the constructor of our chat user so basically what this does is if there is a room with say with a name already present inside our map then just pass that particular room if not then create a new room and here inside constructor we are just assigning our room name to this dot name and here i am also creating a set again you should not use this kind of thing in production uh, you should use your database but here basically i am creating a members of type set and whenever a user join i am adding that member to this set if a user leaves then i am deleting it from the set and in broadcast basically i am calling the send method which we have defined over here which internally calls w dot send uh, wh dot send sorry uh, and here we are just uh, sending that message to all the members connected and here inside get members i am not really using this but if you want you can use this to get list of all members present and to get a particular member you just pass the name and you get that particular number member he, if this method is been used over here okay so yeah uh, so that's it on the uh, back end side now you can just start using npm run dev or npm run start now on the gado side what i have done is that uh, inside the ui i have just taken a text edit as well as a button and i have attached one script to it and here you can see i am creating a web socket peer and the last state is initialized to state close at the very beginning i have hard coded the room name and username but you can create a separate screen uh, where it asks the user for a room name and user room name and username so yeah then i have created three signals one for connected to server like a backend server connection closed and message received and here i have created our text edit uh, variable as well from our ui and this poll method gets called inside this process function which is called uh, 60 frames per second right where did it go so here you can see inside process i am calling poll and it basically checks if the state is not equal to closed uh, <clears throat> then uh, do 
state dot pool uh, and here we get the ready state uh, what is the current state of our socket and if it is not equal to the last state then only we do last state equal to state and uh, if suppose if it is closed at the very beginning right then we say uh, change the state state to open and if it is equal to open then we call connected to server dot emit so once you call this this signal is linked to this particular method uh, connected to server and i have uh, made this connection over here so we are programmatically creating signal same for connection closed and message received as well okay so coming back over here same uh, if connection is closed i am emitting this signal and if we get any message i am just emitting that message received dot get message dot emit get message and for sending a message uh, i am just checking whether if it is of type string then i am calling send text pass over message and otherwise i am just pass it uh, convert it to bytes and send the message uh, for this example like uh, this tutorial i am everything is send in form of string even though it is json data i'm just stringifying it and for getting a message i'm just checking so here we are calling get message right so we are just checking if the get available packet count is less than one then return null otherwise we get that particular packet and if it is a string packet we just get the string from utf8 and can return but otherwise it, uh, we return bytes to uh, var packet and for closing we just call socket dot close and last state is socket dot get ready state and this is for uh, returning our state or returning our socket sorry and inside on ready uh, i am just uh, connecting to our local host so my node.js server is hosted on local host but in case if you have hosted it on google cloud or aws you should enter that url and the port which is it's running on is 3001 and uh, if you remember uh, the url was slash chat slash use uh, room name right so that's what i'm passing over here slash chat and whatever your room name you have entered and if it is not equal uh, to error then we get the ready state and update our last state and here we are just connecting all the signals to proper methods so inside on message received i am just printing it to the console but you can uh, maybe uh, uh, show it in a list similarly for connected to server as soon as you are connected to websocket uh, to the server i am sending a message so this is how i am sending the message i am stringifying it on connection close i am printing it to the uh, console and inside process i am calling this poll method and on button press also i am getting whatever you have typed inside the edit text uh, text edit sorry and i am just sending it back again to the server side so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye